Hey everybody, I'm back and today I have a thrift haul. This is one of my most favorite videos to share here on my channel for many reasons, but one, because I went thrifting to create this video, and two, I found enough good stuff to have a haul, which is good because that means it was a good trip. So I have a pile of Let's go with the good theme here, goodness, over here next to me that I'll be pulling from. I'll show you all of the things I found, uh, maybe a few tips along the way. So let's just go ahead and jump in because I got a lot to share. All right, first up, I found this beautiful, whoa, whoa, that was close. Uh, this beautiful patinaed silver picture. I just love the classic lines and I feel like it's something that I will keep for a really long time. There's so many things that you can do with these, but we are soon uh, redoing our guest bedroom, which is like right now the catch all of all the things. It's really bad. So once we get that done, I think this would be really nice sitting on the nightstand with some flowers in it for our guest. I also found this beautiful piece of pottery. Guys, this thing is so heavy and it's full of charm. And by charm, I mean dirt, but that's something that a little soap and water can't clean up. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Anyways, I love this. I thought it was nice and classic. And um, at the very end, I'll try to insert a clip. I have this really pretty white bookshelf in my entryway and all of the books on the shelf, they're turned spine back, kind of like these right here. And I have a bunch of like cream and white pottery pieces throughout the shelf and I needed another one. So this was perfect. This was $2.99 and I didn't tell you how much the silver, the silver picture was. This was $2.99 as well. Something I do with my thrift scores that's kind of weird, I don't know, do you do this? Um, I will take the thrift sticker, I will wash the thing, I'll put the sticker like somewhere to save it, I'll wash the thing and then I grab the sticker and I put it back on, usually like on the bottom or somewhere where you can't see it because I love to like years later find something and be like, I love this thing so much and I only paid $2 for it. It just makes me happy because it's, it's a good thing, you know? Um, <clears throat> I was really excited to find this one. Are you ready? You should be excited too. Can you see it? Oh, that didn't work. That was gonna be so funny. Look at this lamp. How stinking awesome is this thing? I have it turned on. When it's not turned on, it looks like this. Cement base. Um, I just thought this was the cutest thing ever and it works. As soon as I got home, I put batteries in it to make sure. But this is only $3.99 and the lamps at Goodwill are usually $6.99, so I was happy with this price. I think this will be so pretty sitting in a bookshelf in my office, which is going to be happening soon. Should I try to do it again? I have an idea. Hey guys, I have an idea. I have an idea. Did it work that time? No, no? Okay, I'll stop. Should I share my most favorite thing? No, no, we're gonna save it to the end. All right, so here's a tip for you. Pillow covers, right? This is so pretty and the quality is very nice. It's really thick and has a really good texture. I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera, but this was um, shoved with like an old couch cushion. Gross, this is still gross too, I'm gonna have to wash it. But take the insides, the guts out if you don't want them and then just buy this because they charge you more when you buy like the actual pillow with the form inside versus what they would charge you for a pillow case or a pillow cover. So I don't remember, I think this was like $1.99 versus $2.99 if it had the pillow in it, but it's huge. So I'm gonna wash this and then I like the, do you see this industrial zipper? It's really cool, kind of chunky and cool. I'm gonna wash this and put this away until Christmas. But now we have a beautiful plaid pillow for our Christmas decor that cost me like hardly anything. Um, speaking of pillows and their guts, Whenever I'm shopping at thrift stores, I'm always looking for um, pillow covers, which you just saw, or inserts. Inserts for pillows are very expensive if you get nice ones, like the good feathered full ones. So a lot of times people will get tired of pillows and they just toss the pillow and the guts, like the insert part, and they should keep it because you can always use a pillow insert and you can put different pillow cases on them. So. Um, I found this one. Look at how thick it is. It's so thick. It's actually down. I think it's down. Is it? I think it's pretty sure it is. Yeah, duck feather. That's down, right? Those are expensive, and thick ones like this are expensive. So I got this for two ninety nine. The pillow, uh, the pillow cover on it, I didn't like, so I just unzipped it and left it for somebody else to find. Uh, maybe somebody else would have liked it, but I will put this away and save it. And it also as like a little tip, if it has a tag on it, it will tell you the size. 
very frequently pillows come in 18 by 18 and 20 by 20 so if you kind of stick to those sizes it'll be really easy to find a pillow cover to go over it you can look at like H&M they have really cheap ones woven nook is another company I really love I will leave a link to them down below they have really great pillow cases that are pillow covers that are affordable all right we're gonna keep going with the pillow trend because I've got lots of that going on over here um, I found this one which I absolutely love oh it's so pretty and so nice and pillows can get really expensive especially high quality ones and I am cheap and don't want to pay that cost for them so thrifting one for $2.99 is right up my alley so um, I can spot a good karate chop pillow a mile away this one was calling to me I went over and grabbed it and not only is the pillow cover itself pretty fabulous it looks like somebody had it handmade um, the insert is down as well and beautiful and clean so what I'll do is I'll pull this insert out I'll spray it off sanitize it and then I'll lay them out in the Sun because that helps further clean them and then I will hand wash this pillowcase but I don't know actually where I'm gonna put this one but it does match my home maybe it'll end up in our guest room but until then I'll probably just store it somewhere but it's a good size too. see how big that is then Again, another beautiful pillow cover. I don't know why somebody would get rid of this. This is so basic. You could do so many different things with it. Um, it's linen, has a beautiful texture on it. It's nice and clean. There's no stains. Don't be afraid of a little stainage though because you can spot treat it. Does this one not have it? Oh, here's a zipper. It has a zipper so you can take the insert out so that I can either use this for another pillow cover or I can save it for this. We are redoing our patio furniture, our patio right now, because I just thrifted a bunch of sweet patio cushions. Maybe I'll show this to another day. But I've been looking for um, thrifted pillows to put out on our patio. It's a covered patio, so it doesn't get wet or anything, but I think this might be a good option to put outside. I don't know, though. It seems pretty nice. I might not want to do it to it. So until then, I've got a new pillow cover and an insert for $2.99. And um, speaking of redoing our patio I found this one which I think would be really cute for the patio furniture with little pom-poms it was $2.99 if it gets dirty I don't care um, but it's it feels like it would kind of wick dirt away a little bit so I'm gonna stick that out there all right we made it through all the pillows so it was like pillow central there for a little while especially in my cart they were stacked high um, I've really been needing to up my workout pant game and workout pants are expensive so I always kind of look when I'm in Goodwill I don't have the best look but sometimes I find some these are Lucy brand which is a nice brand um, and I love the color it's hard to, they're like a green kind of like a pinish green and they have a really cool texture on it so these were $4.99 they'll be good for summer I wear lots of workout pants in the summertime with oversized uh, tank tops I picked up these shorts for my youngest, little Carsey Bear. He is uh, three, about to be four. They're Gap uh, shorts, and these were $2.99. I think it's just like a good basic. I like the little fraying on the, the edge of the shorts. Um, okay, I wasn't gonna show this to you because I was gonna save this for a Goodwill challenge, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you because why not? I love this painting. I think this might be one of the things that people look at this and are like, but I'm like, I don't know what do you think let me know down below do you like this I could see how it's not for everybody but I kind of love the whole thing like I love the mat I love the frame and I love the artwork in it and it looks like um, it's an, an original piece like I don't think it's a reprint I just love kind of like the sketch of it and the watercolor and the paper which is probably hard to see on here it's got some texture to it like a linen texture but this whole thing the mat everything it was $2.99 so I'm imagining setting this up on a bookshelf with a little bunny in front of it for Easter decor. Easy. And that's probably all I'll put out for Easter. All right, we're gonna talk about books for a sec and then I'm gonna show you my most favorite find. It's really good, be excited. Um, I spend a lot of time over in the housewares department. As you see, most of my home is decorated with thrifted treasures. A good majority I'm gonna have to say like 85% so I always love to spend a lot of time there but not only do I like to look at home decor stuff I love to spend time in the book section I get books for my boys um, but majority books for myself I have books everywhere guys because they're so cheap so if you um, are maybe wanting to get into reading or you uh, don't want to fork out the cash for books or any I don't know if you like books friends go to the thrift stores y'all they are so cheap and they have so many good books like brand new 
new releases that you can get at my thrift store paperbacks are 50 cents hardbacks are two dollars and once a month they do a sell where they're all 50 percent off so majority of my books are from goodwill or like a thrifted uh, online bookstore that i like to shop at as well but i found the best stuff in fact last night i was just looking at zoo lily do you shop zoo lily on the app and they had a big like book bonanza book of bonanza i don't think it was called that but it should be and i'm scrolling through and i told my husband i was like paid 50 cents for that one 50 cents for that one new releases that they're charging like 17 bucks for okay go check out the thrift store books so i picked up this one it's um says love and other consolation prizes by jamie ford i've never heard of this book before but it sounds pretty interesting something about a boy who is auctioned off um, and he is auctioned off into like not the best house. I don't know, sound interesting. Had a really good reviews on Goodreads. Also make sure you're using Goodreads if you are just getting into the reading world and you feel a little bit overwhelmed with books, Goodreads will be your friend. Uh, Joe Hill, he is a horror author. He is actually the son of Stephen King. This one had really good reviews as well. So I snagged that one. Both of those were 50 cents each. And then um, The Toy Maker Apprentice. I'm assuming that this is middle grade. I'm not sure though. And I love to read middle grade. So just because it's for little kids don't mean you don't, you don't mean you can't read it, okay? This one sounds really good. Something about, I don't know, Toy Apprentice Friends. It's gonna be good. And I might read that one out loud with my boys. So are you, oh gosh, no. I'm not gonna show you my, I was about to say are you ready? But I've got one other thing to show you. Okay. Another tip coming your way, don't forget to look at thrift stores for organizational stuff. I've been really lucky this year. I have found tons of things from the container store in our thrift stores, uh, brand new, still wrapped up. Today, when I was there, I saw lots of really cool Ikea organizers. I think I shared one that I saw in the haul that I posted the other day. I'll link the video down below. Just, you have to go in and kind of dig a little bit and keep your mind open, but you can find some really good stuff. So speaking of which, look at this Elfa basket that I found. Hello. Look at how big it is, guys. It's huge, 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 huge. Anybody want to guess how much I paid for this? Go ahead and start yelling out some prices at your, at your, what do you watch this on your phone? Did anybody guess $3.99? Because that's what I paid for this. $3.99. It's called the Two Runner Mesh Hanging Drawer. I don't plan on hanging it, but hey, uh, I was excited to find this. I'm thinking about putting this in my boy's closet, at the top of their closet. I need something to put like clothes that are too big for them because I thrift a lot of their stuff. So when it's like a size up, I'm just like folding it and sticking it up there. It would be nice to have like a, a nice big place to put things. So I think I might use it for that, but possibilities, I mean, are endless with that one. When I was shopping, um, a lady, she kept looking at me and smiling and then she finally came over and she was like, is there any chance you're gonna be putting that back? And I was like. <laughs> okay, my camera's blinking. So let's go ahead and get to my most excited find. I hope you're excited for me. Are you? You should be really excited. It's a typewriter! Like an actual vintage typewriter that stinking works. It works! I'm so excited! How much do you think I paid for this? How much do you think? Did you say a dollar? Just kidding, I didn't pay a dollar for it. I paid $4.99, which I think is a steal. And I looked it up online to make sure that I could get uh, more ribbon for it. And what I was seeing on Amazon is like $6.99 for a new ribbon. And I know it works because some of the ribbon is still uh, working. So when you press the button, it's still working. I have all of the projects in mind for this. In fact, uh, my main want for this, my main want for this is for my Project Life album, my scrapbook. Uh, a lot of times when you journal, I write, but you could like stamp, what? Not stamp, typewrite. Like if I wanted to typewrite a little story on a journaling card, I could do that now because I've got the typewriter and it's vintage, which makes it even better. So I'm very excited. Excuse me, I just burped. Gosh, it is not a video unless I burp in it. I'm so sorry. Are we still friends? I hope so. <sighs> Should we just take a second? I love you. This was a very exciting find. I was pretty excited to find those patio uh, pillows in the backyard. Once I redo my whole backyard, I'll show you what they are. But I have to say this might surpass them. 
Okay, that's enough. I gotta go get my kids. Thank you guys for hanging out with me uh, for this thrift store haul for today. I will see you around these parts if you are new here. Um, I share a little bit of everything, family stuff, home decor, um, eating. I don't like share videos of me eating, but like food, you know, they, that I like to make and buy. That's what I was going for. Makeup, products I love, things I'm not loving. We talk books on here. It's just like a bunch of fun for all the things. So I hope you'll click that little subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, here is, here's the bookshelf that I talked about in the hall earlier today. This is right in my front entry, which is pretty tiny, so it's hard to get a good shot of this, but let me tell you this. This was thrifted, this was thrifted. Uh, most of these books were thrifted. And there she is, my new piece that I showed you in the hall. Doesn't it look good up there? And I needed something to carry on the little white up to that top shelf so I think it works out great let me shut the doors and I'll show you what it looks like with the doors shut okay guys I'll see ya